Hi there, my name is Milan. I'm the Director of Copywriting here at Organics, and I'm here today with a confession. Now this is a confession that many of you out there will be able to relate to. This is a confession that many of you may not be willing to make, and this is also a confession that many of you may not have really even thought about. For me today, my confession is this. I am addicted to my smartphone. Are you? Have you thought about it? I mean, let me give you a little background about myself first so that I can explain really how deep this goes for me. I am in my 30s. I've been married for 11 years. Um, my husband is a first responder. We have four boys together, ages 10 to two, and life is crazy to say the least, right? As you could imagine. So my smartphone, does a lot of things for me. My smartphone keeps me connected. My smartphone helps me figure out what the heck I'm cooking for dinner. My smartphone helps me to come up with ideas. Uh, I can access the internet, internet real quick. I can log on and check things for work. I can do everything just like your smartphone can do that for you. The problem is my smartphone has become an appendage. My smartphone has become like a third arm. It's always there. I never get a break from it because I depend on it so much. I realize that it's become such a central part of my life that I'm never really disconnected, which can be a good thing depending on your situation. But for me, it's a bad thing. I need to dis disconnect and be more in the moment to be more present, you know? so. What was the turning point for me? What made me decide, okay, I'm going to ditch my smartphone? Well, you know, I just realized that I have fallen into a pattern of falling asleep with it. You know, at nighttime, that's the last thing I was doing, scrolling through my phone. Um, in the middle of the night, when my toddler, my two-year-old or my four-year-old wake me up um, for no reason other than to pee or they want something, um, I rely on it to go back to sleep. I'm scrolling through mindlessly, aimlessly, and it takes me so much longer to just jump back to sleep. And then I realize it's the first thing that I use in the morning. Um, when I wake up, my alarm is my smartphone. Um, I check and see what messages I have, who's liked a picture on Instagram, um, what's going on, where am I in the stream of my day, you know, what do I have to do, how, how am I going to prioritize, all of that is you know my smartphone coming first in a lot of different things. So I just wanted to see what it would be like to back off. So I decided to do this for 21 days. Now, when I say ditch my smartphone, what exactly does that mean? Does that mean I've put it away and I'll go back to it occasionally? No, the answer is no. <laughs> I have literally gotten a dumb phone. This is my dumb phone. It is not smart, it just flips. Hold on, oh, and it's upside down really bad. It flips, bam, that's it. All I have on this bad boy is um, minutes. I mean, I know not minutes, unlimited calling. <laughs> that's way back in the day. I have unlimited calling and I have um, unlimited texting. Now, this is not just your average texting here. I cannot receive multimedia messages with attachments. I cannot receive emojis blowing my mind. I cannot receive um, anything over just a few characters. I don't know, maybe a hundred. I haven't even checked. But um, today's day one. Today is day one of my smartphone detox. And, you know, this has been already a crazy experience. But before I tell you about today, let me tell you about how difficult it was just to transition from my smartphone to my dumb phone. Okay, I made the phone call. I have AT&T, that's my carrier. I made the phone call and said, hey there, I'm looking for a way to um, go back to a flip phone. What's the cheapest and easiest way to do it? The reply from the customer service agent was, huh? <laughs> Literally, huh? And that huh repeated itself at least several times throughout this, you know, 20 minute conversation. And then I ended up getting transferred to the prepaid division. And then they transferred me back to the smartphone division because it was almost just like a concept that just doesn't happen very often or at all. So 
that was the first part that was difficult then i have to give my hubby my hubby props here because he truly helped me out he went back and forth to the at&t store to figure this whole thing out you know you have to get a new sim card you can't just pop the sim card from your your smartphone into your dumb phone you have to get a special one and then on top of that you have to get a special phone it can't just be any phone because everybody and their mother has offered to donate a flip phone to me because, hey, you don't need to pay for that. If you're gonna do that, I, people I've talked to about this whole thing, if you're gonna do that, no problem. No problem at all, I have some for you. And I would try them, every single one. I mean, the phones are 20 years old, of course they're not gonna work. Yeah, either the battery was dead or you try to charge it, it, it was just. So I planned on starting this January 1st. However, it took this long to get it up and running. So that's been a challenge in and of itself, just making it happen, making it work. Um, and like I said, today is day one and there's just this level of anxiety that I have that I just can't get control of yet. It's like, I, I find myself going to my purse or going to wherever my phone is, the dresser, my pocket, wherever it is, just checking my phone. What am I going to check with the flip phone? Nothing. Flip still works. That's all it does. <laughs> just flips. No, there's no Instagram. There's no Facebook. There's no, you know, there's not, there's nothing. And so it's just like, I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. I have this perpetual feeling of, oh, I need to go and check in or I need to figure this out. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's difficult. And, um, I, I really, I'm really sticking with this though. 21 days. Why not 30 days? Why not longer? Because this is hard. That's why 21 days is tough. So I can't even get through day one without flipping. It's been at least about 30 of these. I started at about 1 p.m. I'm on Eastern time, Eastern time. And um, I'm just flipping. I'm just checking and flipping and checking and flipping. And, and I just, it's just this anxious feeling of, I gotta check my phone. Let me check my phone. Let me check my phone. I do it all day unintentionally. Um, in the work environment that we have here at Organics, we all work all over the world. It's a virtual environment and it's so cool. Um, the thing is, I just, I check in, I check in on a regular basis. Hey, what's going on? Let me check my phone. Emails come through my phone. We use Voxer a lot, comes through my phone. We use, you know, any, anything that we're using comes through my phone. It's all there and now it's not. So, um, is this withdrawal? This might be withdrawal. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to channel, I'm going to, I'm going to show you what it is like to go through, um, an entire 21 days without a smartphone or tablet can it be done have you done anything like this have you ever tried this is this am i am i being too dramatic is this something that is you know not that serious and i'm just you know over analyzing it or have you done it if you have can you leave a comment below and tell me can you leave me some tips can you help me out um i'd love to hear what you think i'd love for you to follow me on this journey thank you for watching i will be back and I will share the ins and outs, the ups and downs, the highs, the lows, and I'd love for you to be there with me. So um, make sure you like and subscribe so that you can uh, not miss any of these episodes. Leave me some comments, leave me some tips if you've done it. Anything to help ease this transition or this anxious feeling that I have would be much appreciated. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.